Hey everybody and welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green who clearly needs a person to push buttons for her at the beginning of her show. Anyway, let's get right into it today. Hey Sal, hey Jay Francis, Gen Genevieve and Heather. Um, and let me see. Uh, Rebecca, hey everybody who's online in the chat joining us. It is going to be one of those shows because the goofy has got me this morning. That's all I can say. The goofy has got me. Um, so just a real quick announcement that I say at the beginning of every show for those who are returning, for those who are new. Hey, welcome to the show. First and foremost, I never reach out to anyone um, on any social media or email or any of that stuff um, unless you've signed up for my group email on my website. I never reach out and tell you you need work, get work, blah, 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 blah. I don't do that. No, no, no. So uh, the only way that uh, people connect with me for sessions is getting questions answered here or connecting with loved ones here on this show or through my website for um, tonig.info or my business number 414-897-2869. Do, please do not get scammed. I don't, even though I, you know, I don't know how much scammers charge, but I don't care if it's only a dollar. Don't get scammed. Don't, don't, don't lose your money to a scammer. Okay. Second, um, if you would like to call in today with a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Yep. That's the number. Okay. I'm going to go into a few um, names that I've been hearing from the other side. Um, the first name I'm hearing is Jeff or Jeffrey. Uh, Jeff is uh, on the other side wanting to say hey or hi to the people or persons left behind here. And there's also a Michael on the other side that is coming through for um, someone here um, and a Gina or Regina, Gina, Regina, either way, Gina um, on the other side coming through for uh, people here that they've left behind here. Um, basically, you know, all if I were to give a message from each of them, and all of them collectively, it would kind of sound the same. I'm okay. Stop worrying about me. I love you. And and um, let the one of them is saying, let the past be the past. Just let's just move forward now. Let's just move forward now. We need to just move on now. Okay. Um, the next thing is um, a couple of songs that have been coming through. Uh, um, and this song, I don't even. I can only say one word of this song, and everybody, if you know the song, you're going to know it, but it's that song, Gasolina, da -na -na, Gasolina, mm -mm -mm, Gasolina, and the only reason I can say one word is because I think that's the only word in the song I understand, if we are all being honest here. I barely understand English, not really going to be able to understand that song. Yep. Okay. Uh, the next song that I am hearing is, again, I heard this song a couple weeks ago. I'm hearing it again. The Arrhythmic Sweet Dreams. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I think if you know that song, you just know that song. That's whoever that song is for. Again, uh, this can be somebody, uh, a song that answers a question. It could have been a song somebody on the other side loved or somebody here loves this and or you listen to this song with a, that person. And the other song is um, from Eric Clapton. Um, that, that song, Would You Know My Name? Would You Know My Name? 
if you saw me in heaven. I can't, you know what, you guys, I can't listen to that song. It makes me cry. <laughs> Every single time I listen to that song, I like can't get through the whole song. It's like in one of my books, the last poem book I wrote, there's a poem in there that's channeled. All the poems are channeled. And there's a poem in there. I can't get past the first paragraph without crying. I think the name of that poem is um, Ever. Ever. Um, but I can't get through it. Like I get to that first paragraph and I start the second paragraph and I'm, I'm done. I hope I never have to do a public reading of that poem because... I won't make it. <laughs> it won't happen. Okay. I want a couple more people have joined us in the chat. Hey, Patrick, how are you, Anne? Um, anointing prayers with Destiny. Hey, Destiny, how are you? I hope you're doing well, love. Um, uh, yeah, that song, that song um, by Eric Clapton, that one. Who? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start taking callers. When I say your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling from. And um, if, uh, one specific question or one connection, if you want to connect to somebody on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom. Hey, Stevie, speaking of Judy, my mom. Hey, Stevie, how are you doing? Mama says hi to you. Um, and for those of you who are new, Stevie's my youngest brother who misses my mom dearly. Okay, uh, Rebecca wants to know what is her song? Rebecca, your song today is, give me a second here. Um, oh, let it be. I think, is that by the Beatles? I know Patrick's going to answer first. I think he is. Let it be. Let it be. Uh, yeah, that song. Words of wisdom, something, let it be. I, I, Yeah, that's your song for today. Yes, the Beatles and Patrick was the first one to answer that. Thank you so much, Patrick. Yes. Oh, let it be. Patrick, your song, because you answered that, Patrick, I'm going to give you a song of the day. Patrick, your song of the day is, um, oh my gosh, it's not, it's, it's, I can't believe this song. Um, he's got high hopes. He's got High hopes, high in the sky, apple pie hopes. Patrick, what's going on with you that that's your song of the day, love? Oh my goodness, Patrick. I like that song though. I love that song. Um, Caroline, I hope everything is going amazing for you today, Caroline. I, I just adore you. I adore you so much. Okay, I'm going to go into callers. Um, there were some notes, like tons and tons of notes of things I was going to tell everybody before I started the show. And the, the one thing I last week, I said I was going to tell a story about a horse and me. <laughs> there are so many horse stories with me. Um. But I will do this story. I will do one. So when I was younger, we used to go like up north and back to where I was born, uh, the city I was born in, in Wisconsin. Um, and one of my relatives lived on a um, like this. It wasn't quite a farm, but they had horses and they watched the horses and took care of the horses. And I adored the horses. I had no fear. Silly girl. I was a teeny tiny little thing too. I mean, I mean, until I was 18, I was still wearing kids clothes. So right there. Right. Um, and um, yeah, I was little and I wanted to ride the biggest horse it was a big, huge 
huge black horse and I wanted to ride it. And um, they wouldn't let me. <laughs> so here's me. <laughs> I mean, this horse was so big, I had to walk it. And it was such a gentle, good horse, thank goodness. But I had to walk it. <laughs> I had to walk it to this ledge, the cement ledge, where I was trying to jump on it, <laughs> like trying to like use its little hair mane and get my body propelled up on this horse. So I could ride it. Not, no saddle. Why? Why would I think like it was so much work just like getting the horse there and trying to sneak on this horse with, you know, I didn't really know how to put a saddle on a horse or the reins on the horse anyway. So I was trying to ride this really big horse bareback um, up north and while I'm trying to jump on it and holding its mane and trying to grab the back, which I couldn't even reach over the back of this horse, I just kept slipping and falling under the horse. And um, finally, thank goodness, one of my cousins came in to the barn and was like, no, no. And I just looked at him. I said, come on. He's like, there's, there's not even a saddle on this horse. And I'm like, the horse doesn't care. <laughs> the, the logic of a child, right? I'm like, but the horse doesn't care. The horse doesn't care. There's no saddle on it. <laughs> and he just took the horse and he guided it back to its like little barn and or little place where it stayed. And I was really sad. So that's one of the more mild horse stories. That's not the one where the horse threw me. No. And it was a little horse that threw me. See, they should have given me the big horse. I would not have gotten thrown. Or if I would have gotten thrown, it would have been a lot further. Yeah. So anyway, enough about the horse story. That's just one of them. It's a silly horse story. Okay. Um, I am going to go to... Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Christine. Thanks for joining um the show i will get to your question in a moment christine i'm going to go to the first caller if you would like to call in the number is 845-277-9131-951 you're the first caller what's your name and where are you calling from hey it's the day you're calling from sacramento california how are you doing Hey, Nathaniel, I am doing well. How are you? I'm doing uh, kind of a little strange, but I'm doing good. Uh, you know, uh, I may be able to kind of retire. I don't know. I'm collecting, I'm going to hopefully be collecting Social Security soon. So, uh, but I'm um, not sure. I was doing Uber, and I heard of an Uber driver that got killed. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of kicking a race right now. But I've moved out of my uh, house. I was ready, and I'm living in a motel now. This is like the second month. So I'm looking for a, uh, you know, a, a room to rent, hopefully. Less cost, you know, people here. Uh, than, you know, trying to rent a full, uh, uh, you know, apartment or something. But uh, I don't know if uh, mom or dad can come through or uh, yeah, what okay. do you want to do? So, Nathaniel, I think we had this conversation just a couple weeks ago about, um, well, there's a couple things you brought up um, about your relocating and possibly relocating to a more um, co effective cost of living area for you personally. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're driving Uber, uh, you know, Nathaniel, the biggest message I'm getting for you is to try to um, don't listen to one negative story or one negative thing and try to make that like, don't focus on that. Yeah. Um, if, you know, in Ubers, things happen sometimes to passengers and 
and drivers, and those are the stories we hear about. But every day, a lot of people take Ubers and Lyft and all of those things, and they do okay with it. Um, just make sure you're protecting yourself and you're being in areas that are might be considered the safer areas because I believe with Uber, you get to pick where you are, okay? So that being said, um, the biggest message I have for you, Nathaniel, is keep moving forward with the um, disability and find a place that is affordable cost of living all the way around, not just a room to rent, but possibly, and and I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, Nathaniel, but um, like if you would think about, and I know it's not easy, I'm not saying it's easy, but if even relocating to another state or further out in California where the cost of living might be a little bit better, um, but Utah or something like that, you might have just a better vibration all the way around for yourself, okay? It might be something a little bit um, more feasible for you all the way around, Nathaniel. Thank you so much for calling in, Nathaniel. I'm really grateful to uh, get your call and to be able to hopefully help you with some guidance there. I'm going to take the first uh question that I'm seeing on the chat. Yes, if you'd like to join us live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. I'm, I go live on YouTube and then there's the call in number so you can post questions in the chat. The first question is coming from Christine. Christine wants to know, hi, any insight for my son Gregory and the end of his RN program. Thank you. Okay, do, do you want to know, is he going to make it through the program? Yes. Is he going to make it through timely? Mm, it depends on what you think timely is. It might take him a little bit longer than he's thinking right now or a little bit longer than normal. That's okay. You know, don't worry about the time frames that everybody else puts out. Go with what's best for you. Don't put yourself or put himself in that uh, box of it has to be done by this time. Okay. Um, but yes, he will make it through the program. He has to buckle down a bit. He's not being as, I'm hearing the word proactive with his studies as he's supposed to be. Um, for whatever that's worth, I hope that helps Christine. I'm going to go to the very next caller, who is 630-630. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Lisa from the Midwest. How are you today? I'm good, Lisa. How can I help you? Oh, okay. So just the one question. So um, my car died, like, you know, real bad, like 15 years old. It's just, I have to just can't have it anymore. And um, so anyways, um, I went and got a new car and it was built on the day it was supposed to be built, March 15th. And, um, you know, he thought it would be a week or two um, at the most. It's been about a week and three days. I talked to him last Thursday, the salesman, and it hasn't been shipped out yet, which is not so far. I think it's like Mississippi and I'm in Illinois. So I just wonder what you see with it time-wise. I mean, he mentioned something about spring break and some of the truckers, you know, might be on break. So here's what I'm going to say. Relax. <laughs> I'm sorry. That word came flying out of my mouth. I didn't think it would. I understand. I completely understand when we, we're getting something and it's new and we really want it and we're watching and we're anticipating yeah. Not everything goes according to the schedule that they give. Sometimes there can be hiccups and I would rather have it take its time and get to me than possibly something go wrong in the meantime. I do feel like it is going to come in when it's perfect to come. I don't, I don't even really know how to, to really say other than just be a little bit patient and you'll get your vehicle when when it gets there, I'm going to go to 415. 415, what's your name? And where are you calling from? 
Hi, Tony. It's Kate back in New Mexico. Hey, Kate. How's life treating you? Pretty good. I, I think I picked up a little stomach bug in Mexico, which happens. But other than that, it's well. And I wanted, I've been thinking about my dad. So if my dad, Bob, has a message for me. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So your father is, the first thing that your father is saying is, um, give me a second here as his energy comes through. And thank you, Kate. Thank you for this um, coming through and bringing in a connection. Um, your father's energy is very strong, a force of, um, like I hear the statement, a force to be reckoned with or not to be reckoned with. I don't know how that statement goes, but the first thing that I'm hearing is um, that he is, he's, he, um, the song by Michael Jackson is coming through. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Um, so he's saying he's always watching you. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's where that's going. <laughs> he's always, he's always, um, and then I hear that song, Jeepers, Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? <laughs> um, I don't even know if that's even a whole real song. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely watching out for you, watching you has eyes on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And definitely making sure that everything is um, like uh, moving forward, um, pushing moving, pushing okay. forward for you, um, asking you to pick a path, yeah. to pick a way, to pick a path, to pick a way, pick a path, just, you know, figure out one or two things like, and then like, just go with it and make it happen. You're kind of been at like a, um, yeah. stalemate of, but what if, but what if, so just ride the bike. If you don't like the bike, just get a different bike. Um, Right. Yeah. Or try a different trail. If you, if you, okay. So if you get a bike and you go down one trail and you don't like it, okay, get off that trail and go to a different trail. That's, but at least get on the trail, at mm -hmm. least get on the trail, trail, just get, um, like he's showing me a shovel right. and dirt and he's saying, just dig in and do it. Otherwise in a year, you're still going to be in the same place, kind of just going, well, should I, this, should I, that yada, yada, yada. So that's what I'm mm -hmm. getting for that. And what I'm going to add to that from him and a grandmother that is on the other side is that you have like all these abilities and gifts and you don't want to go back into what you did. But okay, so bear with me while I try to say this. You don't want to go back into what you sure. did before but it won't be mm -hmm. the same as it was before because this time you'll be directing it. This time you'll be in charge of it. This time you won't be like mm -hmm. doing it for somebody else. You'll be doing it in, 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 in your way, in your terms, on your terms, or however we're going to look at that. And you're going to like, it's going to be your thing that you get to do your way. Right. Not, um, <laughs> not, um, excuse me, not a, under the direction of someone else. So whatever it is that you choose to do, pick it and then have a vision and then flow with that vision. That is the message I'm getting for you. Okay, sweetie. And I, I, I really do hope that that is helpful for you. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, thank you. Those both of those messages are exactly... Thank Spot you. On. Thank you. I'm so happy. I hope that that was helpful for you. And I look forward to uh, talking with you again, my love. Yes, me too. I'll keep um, listening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am going to go to 857. After 857, I'm going to take a call on the, on the chat. 857, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Keita, and I'm calling from Massachusetts. Hey, Keita. How can I help you today? I just wanted to know if there was were any messages from loved ones and spirit um, 
I I don't have anyone in particular who I I love to hear from. I'd love to hear from everybody. Okay. But I just wanted to see if there was like someone who came forth in general. I, I feel funny asking for one person, so it's kind of like whoever shows up. <laughs> okay, no, um, um, I don't do I that. I don't do that on the show just because that can take a really long time. And then there are hundreds of people in my room. But what I will say is I typically ask, even though um, people don't want to just pick one person, people on the other side can't be offended. And I always want to make sure, okay. um, how, uh, typically I can say this in a better way, but for the sake of the show and the timing, I don't like to fish through all the different energy trying to figure out who everybody okay. is. Okay. So it's okay. I'll, um, my grand, how about my granddad? You need his name? Sure. Yeah. I, um, his name is Oscar. I'm going to tell you, I see a gentleman, um, that is, um, and this is the other reason I always ask for a name in the person is because sometimes somebody will come through that you don't know and you don't recognize. And then you're like, I don't, I don't know who that is. Um, but you know, we have great grandparents okay. and uncles and everything up over there. The first person that I see coming through is thinner with what I believe to be like tan or olive skin, grayish black hair, but at it toward the end or, um, at this point in their life, they were, um, had a thinner, like a thinner face and a thinner, um, a thinner, like sometimes when people get older, they just lose some of their muscle mass and you know how we lose some of our, um, fat in our face or however they say that, whatever that is. This is the first person I'm seeing. Now, whether this is your grandfather, Oscar, or somebody else, I know this person is stepping in. If you recognize him, I hope you do. If not, it's very normal. We don't always know um, by my very horrible descriptions of people that it's them. I am going to say that the message that's coming through for, for, for you is... Um, it's going to sound weird, but this ma the message that's coming, I'm hesitating to say it because I'm afraid it's not going to make sense. Oh, the message that's coming through for you is actually coming from you. Okay, so um, I'm just going to let them talk and then hopefully you will get this in the end. Love is just love and just use that on yourself and not others. Um that is quite, I, I know exactly what they're saying. I hope you know what they're saying. Uh, and then I hear the statement, and I'm sorry, you may not say that this, that way. Love your damn self. Um, I'm kind of trying to make it a little bit funny, but all the messages I'm getting from everybody on the other side is probably something you would say to somebody else, which would be in alignment with you have to love yourself first or just love yourself and everything will work out or however this is. But the message that they're really bringing through for you today, for whatever reason, is to love you, to just love yourself. Just don't, don't worry so much about other people or other situations. I love you guys so much. I will see you all on Wednesday. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And um, until, until we meet again, many blessings. Go make miracles in your life.